Hey folks, Doug Blake with Body Design University. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the difference between BMI or body mass index and body fat percentage. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, well, it's pretty simple, the difference between the two. One is body mass index and the other is body fat percentage. But it's always interesting because I still get lots of questions and it's based on some confusion that students have when it comes to um, understanding the difference between the two because you know bmi starts with a b right so body mass index and then of course body fat percentage right so we we might get confused with the two just because of the the terminology uh, one of the issues that we do see is when you're getting a question on an exam that will say um or, or reference BMI versus body fat percentage, um, and you might get confused. And so it trips it trips some students up. And so um, that's why I'm doing this video to give you some understanding as to what the two are and why you should not and you cannot get them uh, confused at all. Okay, first is BMI. What is BMI and why is it used? Body mass index, it is a very, very simple concept. Um, it's based on the idea that uh, an individual's body weight and their their height have some significance when it comes to um, health issues. And that's why it is used generally by the clinical world. In the world of personal training, folks, in the world of fitness training, we don't use BMI. If somebody is using BMI, that's cool. Um, but we just don't use it because it has little to no significance to us as trainers. Why? Because it does not differentiate between body composition, i.e. the amount of fat and the amount of lean body mass that an individual has. That's what personal trainers are concerned about. Now, if you are a physician, you're a doctor, you definitely want to know BMI because it's a quick, easy way to assess some basic uh, or potential health issues that a person might face. Because we do know um, that at a certain height, irrespective of body fat percentage, unless of course you're a professional bodybuilder, that for the most part, individuals at specific heights, the heavier they are, right? The more uh, potential issues or problems, health issues they may have because uh, BMI or body mass index is a ratio. It's basically a person's height compared to their weight. So at a certain height, you should be a certain body weight or within certain uh, parameters, and that's going to help a physician, a doctor to kind of gauge real quick, real easy, uh, whether or not you are uh, going to face or have some potential for health issues. So uh, this is why we we use standard numbers such as a BMI of 30, which translates into a clinical assessment of obesity. Now, remember, we use the term obesity in you know, generally two ways. There is the the actual clinical diagnosis, which a physician, if a physician says that you're obese, it's because your BMI is 30, there's your number, 30 or higher. The technical clinical uh, term for overweight is where your BMI is, you know, 25, 26 to 29.9, right? And then you're obese at 30 or above, and there are different designations of obesity, but keep that in mind. We use these terms sort of in colloquial speech to say, oh, that person's overweight. Well, technically, a competitive bodybuilder, for instance, at 8% uh, body fat is technically obese. So it doesn't help us, does it? Because that same competitive bodybuilder, like a Mr. Olympia, just as a for instance, could weigh 250 pounds and be 5 foot 8, 5 foot 9. Well, that is easily falls into the obese category. Why? Because it's just based on height and body weight. It does not distinguish um, any of the other more pertinent characteristics that we as trainers are concerned about, which is the, the amount of body fat you have on your body and the amount of lean body mass or muscle tissue that you have. So you got BMI and that's why you want to make sure you distinguish, clearly distinguish between BMI and body fat percentage. So what is body fat percentage? help us with? Well, body fat percentage gives us a much more definitive view or definitive understanding of the potential health status of an individual. Not always, because again, just because you have a low body fat percentage does not mean that you are technically healthy. No, in fact, 
as body fat percentages get lower and lower and lower, particularly in females, um, there could be other problems and issues, uh, health issues associated with that. But as far as distinguishing between the two, it's body fat percentage that tells us um, actual body composition. And so this is where we take, this is where as fitness trainers, we basically take BMI and say, look, look, doc, physicians, you guys can keep that. We don't really, we're not really interested in it because it doesn't help us from a fitness perspective, the same way that body fat percentage does. So we want to take body fat percentage so, so we can gauge um, how well an individual is doing when it comes to uh, reducing or eliminating body fat, which is good, right? And or increasing lean body mass, right? Keeping lean body mass the same and losing body fat, right, into healthier ranges is uh, what fitness trainers try to do. Now, we would also like to increase lean body mass if that is the goal of the client. So clearly the two have um, have a purpose that they serve. One is in BMI is ser uh, serves the clinical, the clinical world, clearly, right? Whereas body fat percentage um, is going to serve the, the fitness professional a whole lot more better, right? So uh, just keep that in mind. When you're dealing with clients, we want to know body composition. We want to know total amount of body fat and the total amount of lean body mass. And that's going to help us from our nutritional perspective, as well as our training perspective. If this has helped you and it clears it up for you, uh, let us know in the comment section below. Just write understood, for instance, or gotcha. And if you have any questions related to either uh, body mass index or body fat percentage, please let us know. As always, have a great weekend and we will see you next week. Bye.